All right, Shalom, Shalom, Yasharala, back at it again with another Lord's Word of Edifying Lesson through the Spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakodash. Before I go any further, I want to give all honor, all glory, and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakodash. And next up, double honors to our elder apostles. And other bishops of Great Millstone who still go out there in the highways and hedges and feed us with 100% truth according to the Bible. And he rule well in Shalom, Labachoyim, Wabarakim, Shagasharala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel and the Lashawan Kodash, the Hebrew tongue. This is the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 2, verse 6. The Lord killeth and maketh alive, he bringeth down to the grave. And bring us up. So the Lord controls everything in life. You know, everything that happened throughout the four corners of the earth, all over the world, in history, all the way to present and in the future, the Lord controls everything, man. The Lord killed us. So if somebody, somebody dies, somebody gets deleted, however they go out, it was the Lord that ordered that. Just like if somebody has a near death experience, all right, and they survive, it was the Lord that uh, wanted that spirit to stay in that body. To, 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 to suffer, man. Because having a near-death experience, you know, uh, isn't a walk in the park. It isn't um something that you instantly heal from. It takes a, a it takes a, a lot of time. Because you have a Bashim Shim you know, once that um once uh that 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 that, 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 that individual to suffer, man. You know? It says he bring us down to the grave and bring us up, meaning he brought us down to a low condition of not knowing our nationality, not knowing the true names for a period of time, you know. But now slowly and surely, you know, we're really at a faster pace in these times. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is raising us up with the beginning with the knowledge and the wisdom and understanding of these scriptures, man. And Lord's willing to be a part of the elect, you know what I'm saying? We get beamed up into the so-called spaceships, the so-called UFOs. All right, and, and receive those sinless, immortal bodies, you know, hey, we're going to be back into that royal state again, you know, being rulership, being rulers underneath Lord Yahweh Shah and King David, man. This is uh, 1 Samuel 2, verse 7. It says, the Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. So the Lord controls everything, your position in life, how much money you got, what do you got houses on the hills or what do you got? You sleeping on a bench, you sleeping under a bench, you being homeless, you about to get evicted, you know, or whether you living check to check like an average person. You know what I'm saying? It's you have about shit me, how a shy. Who the world ignorant cause God is Jesus Christ controls every aspect of life, man. You know, let's go to the book of Sirach, chapter 11, verse 14. It says prosperity and adversity prosperity is meaning when you're prospering when everything is going pretty good you know you know you got a little bit of extra change in your pocket you know uh you're not really catching that much hell at your job you know so you're not really catching much hell you know at, in your household you know with your woman or your kids you know everything is going pretty good and it says and adversity right when you're catching hell man you might get sick you might get a, a headache a toothache uh, your car might break down and you got to be on the clock in 30 minutes, you know, or you got traffic, you know, people got road rage, people cutting in front of you, you know, your woman tripping, kids tripping, animals tripping, you know, a whole lot of adversity, man, a whole lot of hell. That comes from the Lord, too. It's just prosperity and adversity because the Lord deals with balance, all right? A false balance is an abomination unto the Lord. So the Lord deals with balance. The Lord controls the left and right side. Life and death. Poverty and the riches. Yeah, poverty, man. People, our people always want to know why we always in we why we in poverty, uh, uh, uh poverty streaking neighborhoods. You know, why we in the hood, why we in the ghettos, you know? Because the Lord put us there, man. Just like you got a lot of our people, you know what I'm saying, that are millionaires, billionaires. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. But the Lord put him in that status, man. You know? Because the Lord put him in his spirits to um 
uh, trust in Sleazy E and have them do abominable things to get that money so the Lord can destroy them, man. It says, come of the Lord. Bear with me. Hold on. Bear with me. Bear with me. I'll be right back. Yes, Slocky, for the interruption. Slocky, this is the book of Sirach 14. This is the book of Sirach 11 and 14. Prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord. Verse 15, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the law are of the Lord, are of the Lord, and the way of good works or from him so the knowledge and the wisdom and understanding of the scriptures that we uh, have is given to us from the lord this is something that we didn't obtain on our own will this is something that was given to us uh by yahweh by shimei hawashah who the world even calls god and jesus christ man the wisdom and the knowledge and understanding of the scriptures and us keeping the law statutes and commandments to the best of our ability that's from the lord man so we don't take no credit for the things that we do. You know, all our righteousness are as filthy rags, man. So this is uh, our reasonable service, man. This is the least that we can do for the Lord compared to what the Lord done for us. You know? So let's go from there to the book of Psalms 68, verse 20. This is Psalm chapter 68, verse 20. He that is our power is the power of salvation. So the only one that can give us salvation is the Lord, not reparations. Jay over here talking about some <clears throat> reparations and we got to rebel against the government and, and we, we got to flee America. That's not going to work, man. The Lord is the only one that can bring us salvation, deliverance, rescue, and out of captivity, man. Because <clears throat> the Lord was the one that put us in it. And Jake forgot about that. The Lord, the Jake forgot about the Lord was the one that put us in captivity for our rebellion, man, for our wickedness, you know? So therefore, that's why we got the curses on us to this very day. And the Lord is the only one that can take the curses up off of us, man. But the only ones that's going to get that is the elect, is the elect. So this is the book of Psalm 68, verse 20. He that is our power is the power of salvation. Yeah, not these false gods and idols that the two-thirds of the heathen nations trust in, you know. It says, And unto Yahweh by Shimei Hawashah, the Lord, belong the issues from death. So death, near-death experiences, hell, calamity, prosperity, and adversity comes from the Lord, man. The Lord controls who gets deleted and who don't get deleted. All right, and the only way how you can escape the, the 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 stream anger or judgment from the Lord is doing what the Lord tells you to do to the best of your abilities, fearing the Lord and keeping the commandments, man, to stay in the order, you know, doing what is well pleasing into the eyes of Yahweh by Shimei Hawashah. But the only one that's going to do that is the elect. Let's see, let's go to Isaiah. Like I said, just flowing through the Spirit. This was written down. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter forty-five, verse seven. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. Bad times, man. All right. Even wickedness. The Lord controls wickedness. The Lord created that. The Lord, con Lord, Lord created the demons uh, that are on these people to make them do wicked things so the Lord can judge them, man. All right. The Lord controls, creates bad times, wars, domestic violence. Women deleting the men, men deleting the women, women deleting the children, the children deleting their parents. It was the Lord that controlled all that. They give all credits to Satan, but guess who Satan works for? The, Satan works for, or the spiritual demon Satan, as I should say, works for the Lord, man. The who the world ignorant calls God and Jesus Christ. So contrary to popular belief, the spiritual demon Satan did not, I repeat, did not rebel against the Lord, man, in, in heaven. You know, that mythology uh, madness, man. You know, that's why we can't thank the Lord enough because a lot of us believed in that madness, man, before the Lord woke us up to the knowledge and the wisdom and understanding of these scriptures. So this is the book of Isaiah 45, verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil, bad times. I, the Lord, do all these things. And that's plain. That's plain as... 
It's plain right there. It's plain to those that understand the scriptures. This is the book of Amos chapter 3 verse 6. Shall the trumpet be blown in the city and the people be not afraid? Shall there be evil bad times in the city and the Lord have not done it? And indeed the Lord did it. Verse 7. Surely the Lord power would do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. You see that? So before the Lord sends that judgment, the Lord always has his men out there, his messengers, to give you the message of warning before the Lord sends the judgment or, or pronounce the judgment and the angels come down to execute it. You know what I'm saying? That's how the, that's how the Lord works. The Lord always operated like that. You know? As a matter of fact, let's get Hebrews. As a matter of fact, let's get Hebrews 1 and 1. And I'm going to close it out with Hebrews, the 10th chapter. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 1, verse 1. Yahweh by Shem who at sundry times in a diverse manner spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets. And the prophets, the men of the Lord, always gave the warning before the Lord executed the judgment. So now let's go to Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 31. This is the book of Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. So that's why we got to fear the Lord, because every morning, every day, the, does the Lord makes judgment, man. Watching the news articles, you know what I'm saying? Watching uh, news, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's live or whether it's um, clips, you know what I'm saying? The Lord is making moves. The Lord is bringing a judgment down, man, on the whole planet Earth. All right, everywhere, everybody's catching judgment that ain't right. You know, you got the prophets in the four corners of the earth giving you the warning before the Lord makes the move. So, hey, you was given a warning. You didn't take heed. Let's butt off our hands. So, therefore, when the Lord destroys you, we're going to praise you. How about she, man? How shot? You know, referring to the two thirds, man. Let me see. Is that it? Let me see. Uh, remember, I got Deuteronomy 32 and 39. One more time. This is the book of Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no power with me. So this is the Heavenly Father speaking, man. But in these times, it's Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, because the Lord, Yahweh, who the world, even because of God, gave all power and authority to his only begotten son, Lord Yahweh Shai. So the ones that's really given the orders to delete the people, injure the people, or bless people with bless the Israelites with the knowledge of the wisdom and understanding of the scriptures is Lord Yahweh Shah, man. Who the world ignorant cause Jesus Christ. Because this is Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I and he, there is no power with me. So there's no idols that these people worship up there with the Lord in the spirit world. You know? They bicker and argument in the spirit world. That's not happening, man. It says, I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. And that's plain. The Lord controls everything. You know, what you get in life, what you receive in life, all right? He controls your beginnings and your ends, you know? So, hey, with that. Lord's went to the next time I say Shalom, all praise to you. How about Shem and Hawashah, by Shem and Kapadash? Double honors to our elder apostles and other bishops of Great Millstone. Lord's bless the next time I say Shalom.